All's quiet in the small town on the south. For 51 weeks a year. But for one week, the 24 hours of Le Mans rules the region. Le Mans means to me the past, the present and the future. The past because of the famous races that I remember hearing about as I was growing up, the winners, you, the Dunlop Bridge, the famous Mulsan Strait, all of these legends. The present where we are today, you know, trying with Audi to win another Le Mans 24 hours to make our own piece of history. And then the future and the future development, the technologies that are coming out of it and uh, the fact that this race will be here in another 80 years time of that, I'm sure. And in 2012, Audi is heralding in the future at Le Mans with two Audi R18 e-tron Quattros, a hybrid with a diesel engine and electrically driven front axle, a masterful feat of engineering skill. Also taking part, two Audi R18 Ultras with tried and tested TDI propulsion. Out in front in qualifying, to the great delight of all in the team, is the Audi R18 e-tron Quattro sporting number one. It's a great feeling, obviously, you know, we're race car drivers and we, we do this to be first, so when you're first you're happy. Uh, it was a good day, you know, we managed to, to do our full program, go through different tyres and then Lina gave me a new set of tyres and I got an opportunity to, to do a quali run, got a free lap. Didn't manage to get all the sectors together to have a, even a better lap, but you know, I, think it's, I think we can be happy for today and it's a great reward for the mechanics as well, they've been working so hard. Uh, rebuild the car all night and actually the whole year they've been working really hard to prepare this great new car we have. 16th of June 2012, the start of the 80th running of the greatest race of all. Audi up front in a keen battle with the quick Toyotas. After just a few meters and this overtaking maneuver, places one to three are in the hands of the Germans. But the race is long, the lead hotly contested. Through the evening, the duel for first place is breathtaking, constantly switching between numbers one and seven. Only when the Toyota has a run-in with the Nissan Delta Wing does this titanic battle come to an end. Night then falls, the toughest experience for the drivers at Le Mans. Audi established a three-way lead. Toyota, after problems and crashes, are out of the race. However, the team, led by Audi motorsport boss Dr. Wolfgang Ulrich, also suffers some setbacks. During the night, Marcel Fassler has a spin in the e-tron Quattro while leading the race, but is able to carry on with no problems. Morning comes and all four Audis are performing consistently. Moment done. At the moment it's looking very good, the two e-tron Quattros in the lead and then the two Ultras, but there are still over seven hours to go. Audi dominate the race, the battle for podium places becoming especially tense. Over the last 79 laps alone, the lead changes eight times. In the end, with an 11th victory at Le Mans, Audi again make history and do so for the first time with a four-wheel drive hybrid. Lotterer, Trellier and Fassler win ahead of the second Audi R18 e-tron Quattro and the Audi R18 Ultra, car number four. Ah, it's amazing and to have it a second year in a row, you know, it's really unexpected. Yes, it's a huge weight off our shoulders, a huge relief. I'm thrilled because we've waited so long for this moment and the last hour simply seemed like 10 because you're actually looking at your watch every 10 seconds thinking, when's it finally going to be 3 o'clock? Yes, it's really fantastic. The great moment you can have as a driver, you know, to drive such a good car with a new hybrid system, just win a race like that, it's just crazy. It just shows the team's overall strength and that Audi Sport and its team and everyone involved with Joost have managed once again to have us come out on top in a very difficult race. 
new era at the 24 Hours of Le Mans has begun. But until June next year, what reigns once again in the little town on the south is quiet.